What's happening everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall. If you're brand new around here, what you're seeing is me riding a one wheel pint on a frozen lake here in Minnesota. That ice was made in the last seven days, so it's not very thick. It's probably two to three inches right there. Not safe to ride any further out, but I wanted to know how's this pint gonna handle on sheer ice? And let me just tell you, it handled so well. I never felt like I was going to lose control or fall off and can't wait to make content about that. Today we're talking about what is it that you need to know about riding your one wheels in cold weather, the salt effect, the battery life, all of those things. We're talking about it today. We shot a video last week and we addressed some of the things and heaps of people they maybe you're listening to dropped a comment and thank you for doing that we're going to do our best to answer some of those okay right now at the time of shooting this video it is seven degrees outside that is frigid you create your own windshield when you're on this thing and the ground that we're riding on is not soft it is hard it is frozen so every dirt clump that you used to be able to just by your sheer weight push it down and smooth it out is hard it's like riding on rocks now what I love about one wheels and riding on different terrains in different times of the year, at least in Minnesota, it's always a different riding experience. And I love that because it makes me a better rider. You're probably already immediately going, okay, so do you get the same range on days like that? No way. Look, that is frozen over there. It is seven degrees. The range on the one wheel it is I can't tell you that it's 75% you have, or it's different depending on your riding style. I will let you know at the end of a four mile trip what we had left on the pint. We started at 100%, but it is the cold weather diminishes your distance. Same with the cameras we shot with. We traveled with extra batteries because the cold weather we knew would drain the batteries so much further, like the GoPro Max was at 100% when we left, and when we got home, it was it was dead. There was nothing left in it, 100% of the battery within a four mile trip. And so adjust accordingly when riding in cold weather that you're not gonna get as far. Probably the one of the most important pieces of equipment that you need beside your one wheel is something over your eyes when riding in cold weather because your eyes begin to water when you're riding in super cold temperatures and then you can't see, and I wanna see where I'm going. I also want my son, Legend, who is back there to see well, and so I told him to throw on sunglasses. Not because it's sunny, but because I didn't want his eyes to water. That one is annoying to keep wiping, and two, it just, you can't see well. I even have a pair of glasses at night that have clear lenses so I can ride at night in colder temperatures and still be able to see where I'm headed. We are headed to uh, Caribou, if you're wondering where we're, what's the destination here. We have eight children. I'll let that sink in for a moment. Eight. And six of the eight at the point of the shooting were sick. And my lovely wife and I have been wrestling all of them and helping them. And I was like, babe, I'm going to go get some fresh air and I'll grab you some coffee from Caribou. And so that's where we're headed is Caribou to get Holly, my wife, some coffee. Legends riding my XR there. Uh, he is desperately asking for a pint for Christmas. Maybe Santa will deliver one. I have no idea. He, he tells me all the time the color uh, of the fender he wants, everything he's got it picked out. And once you know it, I also have out of the eight, six kids that would like a pint for Christmas. Oh boy. Uh, legend on that XR, if you saw it, he's got one of those handles that Velcro to the outside. At the point of the filming this, one wheel just dropped the news of the new mag handle for the XR. That's on my Christmas list. So if you haven't seen the mag handle for the XR or your Plus, you need to go check it out. It's a game changer. It's it's just innovation. Just the way they figured out how to put it on there. I can't wait to get that and put it on there and get rid of the Velcro on just one cosmetically. Two, it won't get hooked on branches and stuff when I ride on trails and, and things of that nature. On to another question for you. You might be wondering, okay, in winter, do you ride with a lower PSI tire so that it grabs on snow and things? I do not, but some of our friends do. One wheel tells you that the perfect riding experience is, I believe it's 20 PSI. Don't mess with it. It's not good for the board. And so at your own risk, if you want to deflate it to ride, be my guest. You might like that ride better in the winter. Just a little bit more squish, a little bit more of a shock absorber for you um, the other thing is is something on your feet 
I'm wearing Uggs. I told you that in the last video. I love the Uggs. They're super warm and comfortable and the sensors are engaged. Legend decided to wear galoshes or rain boots. I'm not sure why he chose those outside of their flat and he thought that it would work well with the sensor with which they did because commonly your snowboard boots, not snowboard, but your winter boots have a heel on them which would not make contact with both sensors very well, but his feet froze. We're about to get onto uh, a, a trail that is usually unrideable here because it's marshland, but because of seven degrees, it's frozen and you can whip through it. Legend missed the turn. And we're about to come out of here and bump into a couple geese that are hanging out on a puddle in the, well, a frozen puddle now, right there to my right. Uh, I'm like, what are you guys doing? But they're here still and it's super cold. We're supposed to get about five inches of snow tomorrow. And so we thought we'd drop our one wheel Wednesday or film it the day before because of that snow falling. The other question we got asked a ton is salt. Okay, yeah, we, last year we had four feet of snow dropped here. And yeah, that means a lot of plowing, a lot of salt dropped. I personally do not ride when the plows freshly just salted streets i stay on the trails like i'm on a bike trail here that is snow blowed but it is not salted and so i have found ways to get around the salt here i have when i've had to ride in slushy days or get into some of the salt i will rinse my board off with a wet washcloth and i will always take my one wheel back to the house or office if it's been through snow and i leave it on its side so that the snow as it melts won't melt into the components it falls down and gets out of there the other pieces of equipment you need is a great winter helmet put a hat underneath your helmet a buff to cover your face some great gloves that are wind resistant and that is some of the information that we thought you would love to hear more of when riding in cold conditions. We hope you loved it. Would you subscribe to our channel? Every Wednesday is One Wheel Wednesday and we put out new content. Drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and we'll answer all your questions and form our next videos off of your questions down below. And the third thing is click on this video up above. It was how we put together our winning One Wheel calendar picture for our dog. Check out how we did it. Enjoy guys.